Hi, this is Rich Lavens of Eurotherm by Watlow, and I had a question today on how to put a Eurotherm Nanodac into the auto-tune mode. Um, one thing to note, I'm going to show you how to do this two ways. Um, the first way is to go into engineering mode. Keep in mind, when you're in engineering mode, you have to get back out before it will auto-tune. This is because the outputs are shut off as a safety. The second way I'll show you is how to do the same thing through a supervisor level. In the supervisor level, there is a passcode, but the controller outputs remain active. So to keep in mind. So here we have our page key, our scroll or enter key, and then the down and the up buttons make parameter changes. So we're going to hit the page key once. And then we are going to oops, log in as an engineer. So in the engineer mode, we have to enter a passcode to get in. So your passcode will be different than mine. So we're in the configuration menu. So we want to up or down, but in this case, it's faster to use the down button. Go to our loop. The Nanodac is a two-loop controller, so again, using up or down, pick the loop you want to tune. I want one. I'm going to hit Enter. And we're going to go to the Tune menu. And then the very top one, you can see if I hit the button, I can scroll to different parameters. But when I get to what I want, which is the Tune Enable, hit your Enter key. The two little arrows show up, and now I can turn that on and hit Enter. Now, in the engineer mode or configuration mode, I have to back out to here and log out. If I forget to log out, the auto-tune, which is down here, it'll show up. It'll show AT with the little music note, but remember, the outputs are disabled, so it will never auto-tune. So, what this is going to do is it will call for 100% output, for a certain amount of time and then it will call for 100% cooling or just shut the heating off for a certain amount of time. During that time it will see how fast temperature rises or falls and it will set up your P, I, and D values accordingly. So I'm going to show you the supervisor level. So again page, log in. This time I'm going to supervisor. Hit the enter key again, enter your password. So now the menu looks the same, except we're in supervisor. So just to repeat one more time, when you're in supervisor level, your process is still active. So the outputs are still active, but I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to scroll down to my loop, enter, pick my loop, go to tune. Now, this is on because we enabled it in engineering mode. We can turn it on or off. So again, leave it on. Now, when I back out, I can back all the way out. I can still log out, but I can back all the way out. There's my auto-tune. So um, that is basically how you do it. Um, our auto-tune is uh, one of the best in the industry, if not the best, and uh, you should get along very well with it. But if you have any questions, feel free to uh, pick up the phone and give us a call or drop us an email. Thank you. Bye.